recently while working on my Claude Code update video, where I was covering subagents, Claude Ultra Mode, and LSPs. I briefly mentioned a new framework that turns Claude into a fully autonomous coding system. Shortly after, the creator actually reached out to me to thank me for sharing some light on the project, which pushed me to do some deeper dive into the project itself and doubling down on my research. And after spending some more time on it, I can confidently say that this project is truly remarkable. And this framework that I'm talking about is called AutoClaude. AutoClaude is an autonomous multi-agent coding framework that can plan, build, and validate software end-to-end -end with minimal human intervention. But what really sets it apart is that it doesn't just work well, it looks incredible. AutoClaude comes with a sleek, modern, and intuitive UI which makes the entire autonomous development process transparent and easy to follow when Claude's actually working with multiple sub-agents. Think of AutoClaude as Claude code but on steroids with additional agent orchestration, planning layers, validation loops, and powerful tooling that pushes it far beyond a standard coding assistant. And the best part is, is that AutoClaude is completely free and open source. AutoClaude has many features where it obviously works autonomously and unlike Ralph Loop, this is a framework that is going to basically tackle your task after describing the prompt. It is going to handle every component of it, but it won't work at the same extent as Ralph Loop, which works in a persistent loop to get your task done, regardless of how many tokens it uses. In this case, it will autonomously handle the same steps as it would with Ralph Loop, but it won't go over and beyond. But regardless, you still have many other features like running multiple Claude Code sessions directly within the Kanban board, which is a user interface that you can access with AutoClaude. And it's awesome because you can run multiple sessions within this template. Now, you also have other features like the isolated workspace, self-validating QA, AI-powered mergers, memory layer, as well as a GitHub and GitLab integration, and a couple of other things. There's a lot more to this, so let's dive straight in. So to get started, there's a couple of prerequisites. You're going to need to make sure that you have a cloud account and you have two options. You can use the pro plan where you're going to be able to use their subscription tier directly within AutoCloud, or you can simply just use a free cloud account and just link up your own billing account where you just pay for the API. This is the method that I'm going to be using, but there are more efficient methods with the max plan if you are a daily and active user of cloud code. But regardless, just make sure you have this. Next is making sure that you have Claude code installed within your terminal. And if you do not, it is super simple. You can use the npm install command, which is listed within the repository, and you can install Claude code. Then you just need to make sure that you have Git installed as well as Python 3.12 or above. Once the prerequisites are installed, you can easily get this started with two options. You have the ability to install it using the standalone app or you can simply install this using the CLI. And this is with a CLI usage only without any sort of UI. I'm personally gonna be using this with the application. So I'm gonna go ahead and actually install the beta release, which may have more bugs, but I wanna have more features a part of this. Before we get started, I just wanna mention that you should definitely go ahead and subscribe to the World of AI newsletter. I'm constantly posting different newsletters on a weekly basis. So this is where you can easily get up-to-date knowledge about what is happening in the AI space. So definitely go ahead and subscribe as this is completely for free. After installing, you're gonna be greeted with this main dashboard, which will welcome you to open up a new project or you can simply open up a previous project. I'm gonna be starting off with a new project and we're going to go ahead and create a new folder. And this is why you need Git because you're going to need to initialize your project. And once you have it initialized, you can either connect it with GitHub or GitLab. And you can simply do so by having it connected with the CLI. After authenticating GitHub as well as your own repository that you want to work within, you have the ability to customize a couple of things. Now, you can tweak around with the memory, which is where you can have that additional memory layer when you're working within AutoCloud, which I would highly recommend that you do. And you can set this up with Graphite's MCP server as well. And this is something where you can even use an embedding provider locally with Olama. So if you have that locally installed, you can do so, or you can use OpenAI, which I believe is the best. Then after saving these settings, you can then head back into 
the linear settings. And if you want to integrate these different connections, you can simply enable it. You can even add in the cloud auth if needed. And there's general settings that you can tweak, like the agent configuration, which model it is going to use. And one great thing about AutoCloud is that since Cloud usually has a problem with various sorts of limits, it is something that can backfall to another model like the Sonnet 4.5 directly within AutoCloud. And it's intelligently going to do that by having it set multiple agents with different models so that once the limit has been hit, it will transition to the next model. And what I mean by that is if you head over to the agent settings, you have the ability to tweak the agent profile. I'm going to keep it on optimized with the auto mode, but you can change this up for your own preferences. If you want a model to just specify on planning, you can set that with a specific model. And I believe the creator of this project is going to be integrating other models in the future, which will be a game changer because this will be a great tool that can help you out in so many ways. But now this is AutoCloud's main dashboard. This panel is where you're going to be able to work and have it complete multiple tasks for you. Now, what we're going to do is start off by adding in a new task, and that is by clicking on this button. And we can request it to accomplish this task with the op Opus 4.5. So let's go ahead and send in a prompt. This is where I can be as descriptive as possible and tell it that I want to build a modern finance signaling app. And it will aggregate market signals to you like the momentum, sentiment, and volatility with live APIs and AI-generated daily market briefs. Once you have specified the description, you can then select the agent profile that I had mentioned. And then the phase configuration is where it will have it so that it will use that spec driven development system. So this essentially has everything built within AutoCloud. It will use the best frameworks to get your generations outputted in the best manner. And with spec driven generations, like we all have seen with OpenSpec, BMAD, and so many others, it gets the best quality outputted. So in this case, it will use the Opus 4.5 for creating all the specs. It will code it out using the Opus 4.5. And you can obviously change this around and customize it with other models like the Sonnet 4.5 or Haiku. I'm going to leave it for Opus 4.5 as I believe this would be the best. And now we're going to go ahead and create the task itself. You have Git options as well you can tweak, but that is something that I can leave for another day. Now within the planning phase, you'll see that it is going to now start creating multiple plans for sub agents to tackle and you can click on the start button which will execute the planning process which you can see is in progress and currently it is incomplete because i believe i need to actually set my api key now this is something that i had a problem with but if you are to provide a name and if you are to authenticate any sort of cloud account it is going to request you to either subscribe to a max account or a pro account with cloud and if you do not have that and if you want to use your own API, what you can do is click on this drop down and you can paste your manual API key from Claude that's linked to a billing account so that you can use the Opus 4.5 within AutoCloud or the Sonnet. And afterwards, you'll see that it's authenticated. Another thing, make sure you set it as active, then click Save Settings. And what's nice is that you have the ability to also access Cloud code within the agent terminals and you can get a live preview of all of the agents working over here. You can actually run 12 cloud code agents simultaneously, which is incredible because you can just simply add in multiple terminals that you can run asynchronously. But going back into the Kanban board, you're going to be able to see the progress and within the current steps, it is going to work on planning each and every step as to how it's going to build out your spec driven workflow for the agents to handle. But right now it is using multiple tools to get everything ready for this. And then at the end, it is going to condense and create that plan. And then it will also showcase the code and the validation steps once it finishes this. And what it can also do is it can create multiple agents, multiple sub agents of cloud code that you can then deploy and have it tackle autonomously without you even doing anything. You can also set it so that you have human review so that you can visualize each and every change that it's making. What's also nice is that AutoCloud will be able to use your MCPs like Context 7 in this case to get you the most relevant uh, libraries for this particular use case of building the modern finance dashboard. They also have the ability to use ideation to generate ideas about code improvements, UI or UX security. And it will actually list out all of these things in the bottom section over here once it finishes generating it. So it looks like it has finished generating ideas 
as well as validating if there is any security risk. And you can see that there's actually a critical one. So it will list out all of the ideas. And in this case, if it's code related, you can categorize it UX or UI, docs, security, and performance. And you can actually click on one where it says that my API is actually exposed. And in this case, what I can do is I can convert to auto code to actually tackle that task. So I can tell it to auto build this task for me, and it is going to then deploy it to the Kanban board. And then I can simply click on start and have it execute that task for me. You can also ask questions about your code base so that you can get a better understanding of it as well. What's also cool is that you can generate a roadmap as well, which is incredible. And the roadmap that it creates is pretty interesting because it is something that has a lot of phases that you can tackle, the features and the priority of what it should focus on. But just take a look at what it had created. And I got to say, this is probably one of the best generations I saw Opus output of a financial dashboard. Not only did it create the dashboard, but it created a full on exchange where I can actually trade as well as execute different orders. And you can see there's a live preview of the price with the order book as well. You have the ability to generate different sorts of AI intelligence off of that stock or that uh, cryptocurrency. So in this case, you can see that it provides me an AI analysis on NVIDIA. This is fake analysis. Don't take this uh, for literally because this is not the price of NVIDIA, but you can see that it tells you that uh, the momentum right now is deceding. So you can go ahead and sell this right now. But you also have a dashboard that it generated where you can get a deep analysis on each individual uh, stock or asset. And this is where it will give you a good idea of the momentum, sentiment, and volatility. So overall, it did a great job with the UI and the functionality of this overall platform. So I'm really happy to see that AutoCloud did this autonomously. If you like this video and would love to support the channel, you can consider donating to my channel through the super thanks option below. Or you can consider joining our private discord where you can access multiple subscriptions to different AI tools for free on a monthly basis, plus daily AI news and exclusive content, plus a lot more. But that's basically it guys for today's video on AutoCloud. This is a remarkable autonomous multi-agent coding agent that uses cloud code and extends its capabilities even further. And the fact that we get this beautiful interface that lets us visualize and deploy multiple sub agents is incredible because not only can you visualize these agents working on your task autonomously, but you have other features like the ability to ideation, you have the ability to chat to the agents and so much more like creating roadmaps. But that is basically it guys. I'll leave all these links in the description below so that you can easily get started. Make sure you go ahead and subscribe to the second channel if you haven't already joined the newsletter. Join the Discord, follow me on Twitter, and lastly, make sure you guys subscribe, turn on the notification bell, like this video, and please take a look at our previous videos because there is a lot of content that you'll truly benefit from. But with that thought, guys, have an amazing day, spread positivity, and I'll see you guys fairly shortly. Peace out, fellas.